Hello everybody, it's Itamog217. Welcome to a LEGO Marvel set review. Today we're going to look at set number 76277. The War Machine Mech Armor Set. This set contains 154 pieces, one minifigure, and released officially on January 1st of 2024. So here we have War Machine's mech. Uh, when I first picked this up, I was expecting this to be my reaction being basically, great, another Marvel mech. He groan, yawn, whatever expression, etc. Because uh, as of recent, Lego Marvel mechs and mechs in general at this price point have Evo joints. And I'm not a huge fan of those Evo joints because they lack the posability and functionality in giving uh, mech a full articulation, I feel. Uh, anywho, but I actually kind of like this because unlike the l last year's one I picked up, which was Rocket Raccoon, uh, this actually has some detail put onto it, some effort, mind you. Uh, whereas Rocket Raccoon just looks slapped together and just sent on its way for packaging this one actually has some detail on it with the bricks which as much as i hate evo joints i do like to see that there's some detail trying to be put on the build which is nice despite you know that's lack of articulation i think this proves my point here that you know you can only bend it a certain way <sighs> which sucks but anywho you have a little wrist arc reactor there which you can't really pose to fire like the iconic arc reactor again evo joints again trying not to get too much into this <sighs> but anywho <clears throat> lovely you have a stud shooter which at the arm here that you can press and shoots that fires at a singular uh stud tile it's kind of hard to position uh without breaking the mech because again limited articulation you know and everybody says it's not a thing but i'm not doing this on purpose i swear i swear uh and then what's even dumber is they have a shoulder mounted thing which i guess makes sense with it being war machine but it just doesn't work with how they have it mounted they have it literally mounted on his shoulder if they had it mounted right here it could have worked better if it wasn't hard enough to articulate this arm to pose to shoot the first one the second one's going to be even harder and what's worse is you have this little two-piece connected to the body which yes i get it adds to the aesthetic that it's war machine but just kind of limits it a little bit i feel uh, then you get the same thing on this side where you just have the wrist stud shooter yeah you have a printed tile at the front there that looks kind of cool whoop de doo and then at the back here at the back here you have a little thing that can detach via a clip connection and inside is more tile studs to use in your stud shooters whoop de doo <sighs> but you know you can lift this up and out you can take the minifigure and free him from his prison <sighs> let's have a look at the minifigure since there's nothing really else great to talk about about this mech so having a look at the exclusive minifigure included in this set you have an exclusive variant for war machine unfortunately i can't pinpoint as a test recording an exact match for what comic or our animated series this suit is based on i really wish the designers would include a little page saying that or even just on the box something like that saying which minifigure because i know there's probably a ton of iron man collectors out there who want to display everything in order and this one's just going to be a mess trying to figure out and i apologize i can't provide that information at this time uh but yeah no overall it looks okay it definitely has a unique touch to it it definitely gives me some punisher vibes because i do remember there was a punisher iron man or sorry war machine suit so this makes me wonder if maybe one day they could do that as an uh one-off mech uh for the marvel sets but anywho exclusive faceplate exclusive torso exclusive legs 
uh, the faceplate can face up and reveal the facial print, which is not exclusive. It's just pretty common. No double-sided facial expression, unfortunately. But it does include a hairpiece in this set that you can put on if you want to display the minifigure like this. Uh, it's kind of pointless to have this figure loose because there's no real power action pieces with this. There's no weapon. But you could argue you could take these studs, tiles, and just, you know, have it as arc reactor reactor pulse blasts you know like that whoop de doo yeah not much i'll say about this figure let's move on to what else this glorious set has to offer taking a look at the instructions included in this set you have a qr code if you want to build the set digitally or redeem your 20 free vip insider points whatever uh tells you it's going to be turning into a paper bag soon i did not get paper bags with my copy of the set as the time's recording you obviously have the minifigure as the progress bar uh it's, it's no kid build process you know nothing too complex you know to fit that six plus build range that we all saw was so great and then you just had a completed model no advertisements for other marvel sets parts listing on the back and a win at the back hooray as for extra parts, this is all that I received in my copy of this set. Overall, I can't recommend this set. You know, I, I just, I wanted to. I really wanted to. With the details on, that were actually put in for effort for the actual build, it actually contradicts the build posability and, and just the overall look. It just, it, it sucks. I'm sorry. I tried to give it a chance, but Evo joints still suck. And I am in a firm believer that you're buying the set just for the minifigure if you're buying it for the build you're lying to yourself i'm sorry that this set sucks this set sucks go back to this lego it clearly was working why did you break it so yeah that's my review for today don't pick this up unless you're buying it for the figure and throw the rest in the garbage that's all that this is worth for in my opinion so yeah let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. That's it for today, guys. See y'all in a future one. Till then, bye-bye.